And you're probably thinking I'm going to tell you to use your phone to take the pictures and take them of yourself or find family or friends, but that's not what I'm about to tell you. I'm going to actually help you find a free photographer. I am going to help you find free models and possibly even makeup and hair. We are going to find you a full team for free. What's up icons? It's the iconic fashion figure. And it looks like the temperature outside is well above 100 because we are on day nine of Heat Wave Hustle, your ultimate summer success boot camp. Did you know that you can plan an entire photo shoot for free? And yeah, you heard me right, for free. And today I am going to teach you how to plan an entire photo shoot for free. And I'm going to do it step by step so you can be sure you have those professional images you need. And the first step, of course, is always the planning step. You want to define your concept for this photo shoot. So think of a theme or style that you're going for this photo shoot. Are you going for more like a high-end editorial look? Are you going for like a young edgy look? Is there a specific theme for like a holiday or a season or anything like that? Come up with the theme and style of this photo shoot. One of the things that's really good to do in this step is to create a mood board. So I usually use Pinterest. Go on Pinterest or any platform that makes you comfortable so you can find your inspiration for your photo shoot. It's always good to have this mood board as well or, or some sort of inspiration that you can provide to your team that'll be working with you on this photo shoot so they know what it is that you're trying to achieve. And if you need something to help you organize and plan this photo shoot, you can use my campaign briefs template that I provided you in the previous video to help you plan this out because a photo shoot is technically a marketing campaign. So you you could use that brief to help keep this all organized. So now that you found your inspiration and you've done all the brainstorming, we need to step two, determine the details. So you'll want to start getting an idea of date and time of when you want to have this photo shoot. Start thinking about the location and in order to keep this free, I recommend finding somewhere outdoors so in a public place that you don't have to pay for. For me, I usually drive around trying to scout areas of where I can have have my photo shoots at and then again I also use Pinterest to help me and Google as well just trying to find unique areas around me that I can go have my photo shoots at. Now a huge tip I can give you when finding your locations is make sure you find a location that has multiple backdrops. So you're looking for a location where you can do different images that look different. For example you'll go to a location that has beautiful architecture where there's buildings you can take pictures around but then there may also be a park over there and then that that park may have a fountain so you can do some images with like greenery you can do pictures with the fountain so it's water behind you then you can also do pictures around the architectures you might find the next block over there's some type of artwork that you can take images in front of you'll find different things so that's why I recommend going out and actually scouting it so you can see it for yourself but sometimes if you just look on social media you'll see people taking pictures of different locations that will help give you ideas as well oh when you're choosing your date time and of course your location because we're going to be outdoors make sure you check the weather you don't want the weather to ruin your photo shoots now of course if you want a photo shoot in the rain and that's part of your concept then you want to make sure it's actually raining outside otherwise you'll be bringing water as a prop to make it look like it's raining make sure it's not too cold outside because the model and photographer has to be out there taking these pictures make sure it's not scorching hot like this heat wave that we're on right now because you don't want them dying from a heat stroke out there trying to take photos so check the weather. Step number three is finding your team and I think this is the part that most people struggle with when trying to do a free photo shoot and you're probably thinking I'm going to tell you to use your phone to take the pictures and take them of yourself or find family or friends but that's not what I'm about to tell you. I'm going to actually help you find a free photographer. I'm going to help you find free models and possibly even makeup and hair. We are going to find you a full team for free and there's two ways that I've used used in the past to find a team to do my free photo shoots and one of the ways is social media I've literally posted a flyer on my social media saying that I was looking for a photographer and model and makeup and hair and sometimes 
even a stylist if I didn't want to style my own photo shoots. And I'm looking to do a photo shoot on this date and time at this location or sometimes I keep the date and time open so that we can actually work together as a team and determine the best date and time for all of us. But I posted that flyer saying that I'm looking for this talent to do a photo shoot. And I will put in there that the photo shoot is a TF photo shoot so that means time for print. So basically it means you're giving your time and exchange for the images that you're going to receive after. You want to know where I learned that from? Model Mayhem. If Model Mayhem is still around and you can still use it, you can post on Model Mayhem that you're doing a photo shoot and you're looking for someone. So I'm going to do that right now in this video to show you guys how it's done and I'll show you what I even put in my post so you know how I'm actually receiving those. And the reason people do this, models, photographers, makeup artists, everything, is because they need the exposure they need the content for their portfolios as well. So a lot of times you're going to find photographers and models that are up and coming, especially if you're posting it on social media. Instagram has so many people on there that are aspiring to be models or everyone wants to be content creators now. So a lot of people will do these things for free because they need the content themselves. So that's why I say model mayhem and on social media, specifically Instagram usually works really well for it. But on model mayhem, I'll go and I make my post. I'll put on there that you know, I'm looking to do X, Y, and Z photo shoot. I'll kind of give the inspiration. If I already have the location, I'll put on there as well, the location. A lot of times I kind of keep that open too and I'll just put a specific area, but I won't give like the exact location. One, for safety reasons. Two, sometimes photographers have really good ideas of where to actually achieve the concept that you're trying to achieve. So I focus more on the concept. I'll say like what area I want to do the photo shoot in, but I don't always put a specific location and I'll put a time frame of when I want to do the photo shoot but I won't set the specific date and time just so that way I can communicate with everyone and make sure we select a date and time that works for all of us. Now of course if you're on a tight deadline and you have to have things done by a certain date put a date and time and you can post it on there and people are going to reach out to you to try to do this with you and you'll look at everyone's profiles and decide who has the right style who has the right look for what it is that you're trying to achieve. And trust me me, you'll find it on there. It can take a few weeks sometimes. There's times where I find it instantly. I think a lot of it has to do where you live too. In my adult years, I've always lived in major cities. When I lived in LA, I can plan a photo shoot same day, sometimes even next day. Same with New York. I can go find people, have a photo shoot literally the same day, sometimes next day. It was hard in the winter time, but spring, summer, and fall, it was a lot easier to do. You can have a photo shoot like that. In Miami, I can do it too, but Miami, I've noticed, actually takes a little longer because some of the people here are kind of uppity and even when they have no experience they expect pay but that's another story it can take time but you will find people the first free photo shoot that I did here which was for my wholesale brand the girl that I did the photo shoot with she was actually from Maryland I believe I believe it was Maryland that she was from I knew she definitely flew here and was working with photographers here it was hard for me to find models I was so grateful that she flew here that's why I also say I might have had a specific date in mind but if you keep that open and willing to work with their schedules that's how I was able to work with her and that photographer that I had that time she was really amazing like she did really good and she had a really good eye so I picked a location and at first she did suggest a different location but I knew for the look I was going for I wanted that location and then when we got there she was actually excited about the location and she saw so many different ways to take pictures like there was the river behind us so she took pictures by the river there was a park by us so she took pictures at the park there was a parking garage that we took pictures in the parking garage there was also a museum there we did try to take pictures at the museum and I talked to the people at the museum because they did tell us no pictures when they saw us out there with the camera equipment and then I got to talk to someone there and they told me if it was on another day they would have let me just go ahead and quickly get the pictures that I wanted because you know I just approached them nicely and professionally and she was like but we have an event that's getting ready to start and they had like a school bus of kids coming so she didn't want us taking pictures with the kids coming which is understandable I didn't want to do that anyway plus kids being in the background is not right for my aesthetic so that was a no so we didn't end up taking pictures at the museum but we got really good shots elsewhere just around the area and then I also had a makeup artist that did the makeup and she was really good and she actually had already worked with some like higher end brands but she still was willing to do the makeup for free for me because it gave her more content for her portfolio as well so model mayhem still works social media works as well you just have to know how to word it and reach the right people that you're looking for. Oh, one of the tips that I 
want to give you when you're finding your team, your photographers that usually come with all the equipment that they need, especially if you find the right photographer, the models. If you don't have a makeup artist, you'll want to tell the models to come makeup and hair ready. Also, if you're only providing the clothing and you're not buying shoes or anything or you don't sell shoes to go with the clothing, you want to tell the models to bring shoes. And usually what I would do is I style my outfits out in the beginning, which we're getting to that step soon. But I'll look at the clothing and then I try to find a neutral shoe that will fit most of the clothing. So I'll tell them like to bring a nude shoe or to bring black shoes or anything like that. Sometimes the models will send you pictures of shoes too so that you can see them to match them up. Or you can provide the shoes, but when it comes to shoes, you have to make sure you get their right sizing. And then accessories as well. Now if you find a stylist that already has a wardrobe that they've started building, they may come with those things. But if you're finding a new stylist, they're going to be expecting you to bring all the product. But trust me, you'll be able to find a team for free, especially you being the designer because there are photographers and models out there that want to do these photo shoots but they don't have the clothing to achieve what it is they're trying to do so a lot of them will work with clothing brands just because they need the clothing for their shoots. Even if it's someone with experience because they need the clothing for their concepts they'll work with them. So that's the other thing I want to point out on Model Mayhem. You can put your own posting on there but you can also look at other people's postings and look at what their concepts are and what they're trying to achieve and if there's a concept that you see in a post that fits your branding and you want to be a part of it you can reach out to them and let them know even if they don't say that they're looking for a clothing designer because you'll be listed on there as a clothing designer you can let them know that you have clothing to match their concept and you'll be willing to participate if they're open to using your clothing so that's another way to get the free images you need it'll be more of their idea but you'll join in on their team so now I'm going into step four which I kind of just touched on but we're going into preparing for the shoot now that we found the team and we have everything scheduled and of course the first thing you'll want to do is prepare the outfits so start planning out what it is that you want to shoot in one shoot if it's just for a couple hours I do like two to three outfits max some photographers will tell you how many they're willing to shoot because they know how long it'll take them to get good shots of an outfit so they may tell you only one to two or only two to three but normally I would do like two to three at most because you'll notice by like the third outfit everyone's tired especially being outdoors depending on what the weather is but usually what I'll do is I'll get my rolling rack and I'll start planning out the outfits if it's me doing the images I'll try them on myself so I can really see what it looks like and I try to plan out all the accessories and the shoes and I'll take pictures of myself in the mirror so the date of the shoot I know exactly how to put it back on or I'll put it on my mannequin if it's not me shooting it and style it there again take pictures so that way I know exactly how I'm supposed to be styling it for the shoot. If you're hiring a stylist, you don't have to style it, just bring the items and they're going to style it. But rolling rack on myself, on a mannequin, I'm going to make sure I get the right look and I take pictures of it so day of is quick to throw on and start shooting. Also, if you are bringing any type of props, make sure you have your props prepared. Like let's say you're doing a shoot and you need an umbrella for the look that you're doing. Or any type of prop, it could be a specific chair that you need. Make sure you have your props ready to go. Sometimes Sometimes props can help new models too because they may not be as good at posing or they may be nervous if it's one of their first few shoots. So having those props kind of get them out of their shell and get them more comfortable or you know one of the things a lot of models have hard times with when posing their hands. So if you have a prop that they can use their hands with, it makes their posing a lot easier for them. It's less awkward because now they know exactly what to do with their hands since they have a prop to hold. Another thing you can do to prepare for your shoot, which kind of goes back to your concept when you were searching for your inspiration, is look for your ideal shots and poses. So that way you can show the photographer, you can even show the model so they know what type of poses you're going for and the photographer knows what type of shots you're trying to achieve. So what particular backgrounds you need, angles of the images, find your inspiration so they know what you're working towards. And then another thing to prepare for your shoot is the release forms. You'll want to have photographer, model, makeup artist, whoever is on your team sign release forms so that way you know you have rights to those images and you can post and use those images as needed, especially from the model. You want the model release form for sure because they're the ones, their faces are in it. Photographers too because they took the pictures and they're going to be sending you the 
the pictures but they have to give you that release to say that you're okay to post those images and use those images as you need. If you need a template for a release form let me know down in the comments and I'll go ahead and share one with you guys. Now step five, day of the photo shoot. So on the day of the photo shoot the first thing I recommend especially when you're in the scheduling phase is to plan to have the model and the makeup and hair at the shoot earlier than the photographer will actually arrive because if you're having hair and makeup done you know that can take time that can take an hour plus to have hair and makeup done so you want them there earlier so that the photographer is not just sitting around waiting on this sometimes the photographer will still like to show up earlier just so they can scope the area and get an idea of where they're going to take pictures some photographers also put in their input on makeup in here too so sometimes I want to be there so you can let them know you know you have the makeup and the model coming at this time but the actual shoot will start at this time and they can decide if they want to be there or not but I always recommend having them come earlier I myself usually will go earlier too especially if I'm the one putting this together because I found the makeup artist I found the model they don't really know each other or technically I don't know them either but I'm the one putting this together so I want to make sure I'm there so I'm always there when anyone's supposed to be showing up and then make sure you're on time too. Now I know throughout this process you may have sent out mood board, you've sent out ideal shots and poses so you've given your inspiration but on the day of the shoot make sure to again communicate clearly exactly what it is that you're looking for in the shoot so your concept just as a reminder so you're reminding them the concept the ideal poses the ideal angles the backgrounds the things that it is that you want because this is for you they're going to use it too but this is your plan so this is for you when they're shooting if there's something that you notice you can call it out some photographers may get frustrated with you calling out and nitpicking every little thing because they're just trying to work and it's like they want you to trust them in their eyes so a lot of times I just sit back and I let them do their thing plus when it comes to photographer and model it's almost like they build this connection when they're working with one another so I like try to step back and let them create that connection with each other and get comfortable if I keep jumping into what they have going on it kind of interferes with that connection that they're creating so a lot of times I step back and I let them do their thing but in the beginning or in between outfits I do let it be known what it is that I'm trying to achieve and with that said be comfortable with new ideas and pivoting because your photographer once they get to the area or even the model and they see certain things they may come up with other ideas so just trust the process trust them and be open to new things if it's just an absolute no for you you can say no but sometimes it's nice to be open to those ideas because it may be shots that they want for their own portfolios so even if you're not necessarily going to use it it helps to give them the content that they need because remember we're all doing this for free so that we all can gain something from this in the end also from experience be comfortable with models not being comfortable with doing certain things there may be certain shots or poses that you want and the model's just not comfortable with it once a model tells you no they don't want to do it don't force them let it go find something else or you can schedule another photo shoot with another model and let them know that that's a shot you're trying to achieve and find someone that's actually comfortable with so be prepared for that there will be times where there's things that models just don't want to do let it go and then now that your photo shoot is all done step number six is going to be post photo shoot because you're technically not still done the photographer is taking the photos but you still have to receive those photos now when you're doing these free photo shoots sometimes they'll edit images for you sometimes they don't sometimes they'll tell you you know I'll edit one or two and then I'll send the rest of the raw images to you which means they're unedited that's something you'll negotiate when you're finding your team you should know that beforehand what you're going to receive at the end but whether they're editing or not allow the photographer time to send you the images now if they are editing you have to allow that time for editing and that's a question that I usually ask when sourcing my team I'll check with the photographer to see how long it typically takes them to edit if they are going to edit and then I also establish a time frame of when they're going to send the raw images after the shoot some will tell you give them like a week because depending on how many images they've taken it can take time to download all of those from their camera and and then put them in a file that they can send over to you. It'll take time and if they're doing other photo shoots or they're doing other things they may have a full-time job because this is something that they're trying to build up. It can take time and if they're editing it can take two weeks or more. So definitely plan accordingly if you need these photos by a certain date and time and allow the photographer time to send that over to you. And then once you do have the images and you are sharing those and posting them anywhere, tag the photographer, the model, and the makeup hair, any stylist, 
tag the entire team trust me they'll appreciate it because at the end of the day we all are trying to build our book of business and that exposure they'll appreciate now that's how you plan a free photo shoot trust me it's possible this was day nine of heat wave hustle your ultimate summer success boot camp if you have any questions on planning your photo shoot or you need help with anything drop a comment down below that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching Cheers.